A variant is a type of attribute assigned to a product. The variants are located below the description level of the product in the navigation tree. A variant can have multiple values for the same type within one product, for example, colors and sizes. So you can have multiple colors and multiple sizes assigned to a product. Whereas with attributes above the description level in the tree, you can't have multiple, you can only have one. So things like brand and category and department, you can only have one of those assigned to a product. Whereas with variants, you can have multiple. This video won't cover the basics of creating a product. We've gone over that in a previous video, which will be down in the corner. Um, you'll be able to click on that and you can go and watch the basics of creating a product. And all that, that covers all the relevant details for creating a single variant product. This video is gonna go over the creation of a multivariant product, which is obviously more relevant in a fashion environment for items of clothing and other such things with multiple colors, multiple sizes. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is, as covered in the video before, you can check your aliases and you can fill in all of your categories here. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now to add the colors and the sizes. So you'll see here that obviously there isn't a limit on the selection, so we can have as many different colors we wanted to add. Um, we can also select a range, but for now I'm gonna select them manually. Now, um, being a fashion item, it's just gonna have multiple sizes. Um, so I'm gonna select a range. Now I'm going to go and fill in the supplier information. And as in the previous video, fill in the cost and the retail price. Now due to the product having multiple sizes and multiple colours and being a multivariant product in general, I can't add stock at this point. This comes afterwards using this button here called Open Matrix. So now I'm happy with the product, I click Accept. Here's a matrix view. A matrix view allows you to add stock post-product creation and also modify the prices. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some stock. Now I've created the product, I can go and find it in terms.